Well, welcome back to the Fly Fishing Podcast. It's been a long time since I've tied any patterns this year. The season's really been slow getting off the mark. Uh, a lot of cold weather. Um, fish not very cooperative. But what I've found out this year is some of the patterns which have been working in terms of dry flies have been very much the olives and um, my best pattern this year has been a olive emerger so I'm going to tie this up show you how to tie it. Now I've been using a hook called uh, lightning strike it's an American hook I um, love these little hooks either in the 16, 14 or 18 um, for this particular pattern and you also can get the same hook from Orvis in their clear water selection and the clear water Orvis hook is um, a, an SE hook um, usually SE5 is the one you want to be looking for size 18, 16 is really good um, they do go down to a size 20, 22 the same as the clear water hooks and they're made by the same manufacturers basically um, retailed by Waspy so what we're going to do is tie this emerger um, you need some very very simple things I'm going to use a polypropylene wing um, to start with I'll put that in just make sure it's nice and upright on the hook. I also like to put in right at the beginning uh, a red game hackle. The reason why I do it at the beginning is it goes underneath the body, get uniform thickness and if you pull it in at the end the, the likelihood is you can split it when you tie it in or it will just come off it's um, far better to tie it in now and get it all the way down the end of the hook nice and secure and tied in so you're not going to lose it as you're uh, finishing the fly off which is very very annoying also want a little bit of a a shuck at the end of the hook because it's a merger again you can use polypropylene or you know maybe something else like a bit of uh, zedlon or sparkle yarn is just as good but you want to make sure it's fairly thin there's not too much flotation in there and I have it about all oh, same length of the body or half the length of the body. Tie it so it's sitting nicely down in the water. You get wet that way. And it also gives you that little bit of flash and attraction. The olive is just a, an olive floss. Just pinch that in. Tie it down. Just any old olive floss will do. This one I'm using actually has come from um, a fish pond product which is a bag I've got and uh, it started just to unravel it split round the seams which I was a little bit un unhappy about I thought fish pond products are supposed to be so good but the olive is just a fantastic colour for this olive emerger. Now I just return that all the way up the hook. This is um, a pattern which one of my friends called Dave has asked me to demonstrate so you can tie it up and see how it's done. I stop the body just about there. And the point of stopping the body there is I want to go 
get it wrapped in nice and secure clip it off nice and tight next to the hook just like so the point of doing this is I'm gonna just add in a little bit of dubbing that dubbing helps to show where the full wraps would be and I tend to give it a black four axis on this particular fly. I think uh, splitting up the colour is very important on emergers. Two toning emergers, I think, is an important thing. So I wrap it along, wrap it under, and then down to the eye. The next stage is I'm pulling the wing taut. What I'm doing is just winding the hackle round. And we don't have to be too too clever about this. As long as we get it, get a decent amount of hackle, it's absolutely fine. You can use a hackle ply if you want to, or you can just use your fingers like me. I tend to like a low grade cock hackle. Um, the reason for that is I actually want it quite long. I don't mind if it gets a bit damp and wet. Um, I feel that's far more sort of leggy and gives a bit of variation to the presentation of the fly. And the way I tie this off is I pinch it forward. Uh, at the eye of the hook and let's tie that tie that hackle stalk in and underneath like so once you're there I then take it round the base of the hackle stalk and I take the wing I split the wing and pull and that takes the, the hackle down I sweep everything back and I whip finish. Or just put a couple of half hitches in. Half hitch that. One. And I reckon that all you need is three decent half hitches. I don't bother to bar varnish flies. And that's it. That's the basic olive merger. Just sit that hackle down, cut the wing, rotate that, and clip the hackle out. And that's just done. And there we go. That's my olive merger uh, fly, which basically at this time of year, start of the year, has been very very successful. Very cold, damp, grey year. Olives are a fly which will come off under those sorts of conditions. Um, and the trout have been picking up on these. Now we're seeing a few hawthorns which are coming out and you can vary this pattern. You give it a black body, same same sort of hackle or even the black hackle, grey hackle, doesn't really matter, uh, white or grey wing and you're well away, you've got a whole form to fly. Um, try it in a bigger version, you've got a, a emerging mayfly and this year everything's been so mixed up, this has been a fantastic pattern, it's just been there, the trout have been up and at this um, and no other fly has done the business. Anyway, tie it up, give it a go, Ology Merger, um, and come and see me and ask me to tie a few more patterns on the Fly Fishing Podcast.